Phil West is undoubtedly the Dean of Good Government Advocates here in the Ocean State. In a New Year's opinion piece for Projo, West commented on all the hyped political promises that attended the opening of the new legislative session. He also noted one New Year's resolution our elected leaders somehow overlooked. They didn't mention anything about reinstating Ethics Commission authority over sitting members of the House and Senate. Are you kidding me? Students of ancient Rhode Island history will have heard that the very first president of the Senate, William V. Irons, took at least $70,000 in undisclosed insurance commissions from the CVS Corporation. The Ethics Commissions felt that he had his hand in the cookie jar, in that while he was accepting this income, he was also actively scuttling pharmacy choice bills. Irons tried to negotiate a quiet settlement for the misunderstanding, but the ethics commissioners remained prickly on the subject of doing the right thing while in office. So the Senate president sued, claiming that the state's constitution's speech and debate clause made him immune from prosecution. This is Rhode Island. The Supreme Court agreed, and since that time, no sitting legislator falls under ethics commission jurisdiction. By the way, that all happened in 2009. There can be no doubt that a little bit of enforced ethics would have gone a long way as a small cabal of lawmakers cooked up the 38 Studios bond deal in 2010. I'd argue that we could dearly use some of that attention today, as our great and general court ponders the big bond, a similar boondoggle, but one that's at least 15 times bigger in dollar value. Phil West argued eloquently for a ballot question to authorize a constitutional amendment which moves our elected officials back under the protective umbrella of the Ethics Commission. After all, they'd operated there quite nicely from the time the commission was organized in 1976. Now wouldn't that be a New Year's resolution for the General Assembly? Do you think we'll see it? Are you kidding me? Find us on Cox Channel 15 or Verizon Channel 34. Saturday at 4 p.m. or Sunday at 10 a.m. Find us on the web at www.gaspyproject.com slash Common Sense Rhode Island. Like us on Facebook at Common Sense RI. And follow us on Twitter at at sign Common Sense RI.